Have you ever wondered about the difference between equity and debt? A question that might have crossed your mind as you navigate the financial landscape. Today, we're setting the stage to explore these two pillars of finance and investing. Equity and debt, though seemingly straightforward, can be complex and multifaceted. They are the gears that drive the machinery of investment. So buckle up and prepare for a journey into the intricate workings of these financial concepts. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of equity and debt. Scene script. Let's start with equity. What exactly is it? Imagine you're at a bustling marketplace and you come across a promising stall selling an assortment of delightful goods. Intrigued by its potential, you decide to invest some of your hard-earned money into it, becoming a part owner of the stall. This, my friends, is the essence of equity. Equity, in simple terms, is a stake in an enterprise. When you buy equity in a company, you're essentially buying a piece of that company, making you a shareholder. Now, you might be wondering, why is equity so important in business? Well, equity serves as a crucial lifeline for businesses. It's the capital that owners inject into their companies to finance operations, fuel growth, and navigate through challenging times. It's the money that isn't burdened by the obligation of repayment like a loan. Instead, it's a long-term investment that's tied to the fortunes of the company. Now, let's delve a little deeper. How does equity work? When you buy equity, you're not just buying a piece of paper. You're buying a share of the company's assets, its earnings, and yes, its risks too. As a shareholder, you're entitled to a portion of the company's profits, which can come to you in two ways, capital gains and dividends. Capital gains are the profits you make when you sell your shares for more than you paid. It's a bit like buying a painting and selling it years later when its value has shot up. Dividends, on the other hand, are your share of the company's profits that it decides to distribute to its shareholders. It's like the stall owner sharing a portion of his earnings with you because you invested in his stall. And let's not forget the voting rights. As a shareholder, you have a say in the company's major decisions. You're not just an investor, you're an owner. So in essence, equity is all about ownership and sharing in the potential success of a business. It's a journey filled with opportunities and risks but the rewards can be substantial if you choose wisely. Now, let's shift our focus to debt. What does it entail? Imagine a scenario where you need to buy a car, but you don't have the funds readily available. What do you do? You go to a bank or a financial institution and you borrow money. That, in essence, is what debt is all about. It's a financial agreement where one party, the borrower, receives something of value now and agrees to repay the lender, usually with interest, at a later date. Debt plays a crucial role in the world of finance. It's a tool that individuals, corporations and governments use to fund their various needs or projects. For individuals, it might be for education, housing or purchasing consumer goods. For businesses, it could be for expansion, buying equipment, or even funding operations. And for governments, it could be for public projects or even fiscal stability. But how does it work, you might ask? Well, when you borrow money, you're required to pay it back with interest. This interest is the cost of borrowing, and it's how lenders make their money. The repayment schedule could be in the form of monthly installments over a predetermined period or a lump sum payment at the end of the loan term. Now, unlike equity, debt doesn't provide ownership rights to the lender or investor. If you borrow money to buy a car, the bank doesn't suddenly own your car. They simply have a claim on your future income until the debt is repaid. However, it's important to note that debt comes with its own set of risks. If the borrower defaults or fails to pay back the money, the lender could lose their investment. This is why credit scores and collateral are often used in debt agreements to mitigate these risks. In essence, debt is a financial instrument that allows us to access funds we don't currently have with the promise that we'll repay those funds plus a little extra in the future. In simple terms, debt is borrowing money with the promise of repayment plus interest. Now that we understand what equity and debt are, how do they compare? Let's dive into the fascinating world of finance and investing, where we'll contrast equity and debt, two pillars that uphold the edifice of investment. They may seem similar, yet they're as different as chalk and cheese. Firstly, let's talk about ownership. 
Equity, you see, is all about ownership. When you purchase equity, you're buying a piece of the company. You become a part owner, sharing in the company's fortunes, good and bad alike. You're entitled to a share of the profits, and you have a say in the company's decisions. Debt, on the other hand, is a loan. The company owes you money with interest, but you don't own a part of it. You're a lender, not an owner. Now let's chat about risk. With equity, the risk is higher. If the company doesn't perform well, your investment can dwindle or even vanish. But if the company thrives, your share value could skyrocket. It's a bit of a gamble, really. Debt, however, is safer. Your returns are fixed, come rain or shine. But the catch is, if the company goes under, you might not get your money back. It's a safer bet, but not entirely without risk. Returns are... Uh, that's where things get interesting. The returns on equity can be tremendous if the company does well, but they're unpredictable. As an equity investor, you're essentially betting on the company's future. Debt, by contrast, offers predictable returns. You know exactly how much you'll get and when you'll get it, but the returns are usually lower than what you could potentially earn from equity. And how about the impact on the company's balance sheet? Equity strengthens a company's balance sheet as it doesn't have to be repaid. It's permanent capital that the company can use to grow and expand. But too much equity can dilute the ownership and it can be expensive if the company does well. Debt, conversely, has to be repaid, which can strain the company's resources. But it can be cheaper in the long run if the company can comfortably service its debt and the interest rates are low. The choice between equity and debt can depend on various factors. The nature of the business, market conditions and investor risk tolerance all play a role. A high growth tech startup, for example, might prefer equity, while a stable utility company might lean towards debt. Investors with a high risk tolerance might go for equity, while those who prefer safety might opt for debt. So, while equity and debt are different in many ways, they both play crucial roles in finance and investing. Now isn't that an intriguing comparison? But remember, it's not about choosing one over the other. It's about finding the right balance, the right mix of equity and debt that suits you and your investment goals. Because in the world of finance and investing, balance, my friends, is key. So, what are the key takeaways from our discussion today? We've certainly covered a lot of ground, haven't we? Let's take a moment to recap the major points that we've explored. Firstly, we delved into the realm of equity. We learned that equity is essentially ownership. When you buy equity in a company, you're buying a piece of that company. You're becoming a shareholder. You share in the company's profits, but also in its losses. The value of your equity can rise or fall based on how well the company performs and how the market perceives its future prospects. We also discussed that the perks of equity investment include potential high returns and a say in the company's affairs. However, it's important to remember that the risk factor is also high. If a company goes under, equity investors are last in line to be paid, which means they could potentially lose their entire investment. Next, we ventured into the world of debt. Debt, in contrast to equity, is a loan. When you invest in debt, you're essentially lending money to a company or a government. In return, you receive interest payments and the promise of your initial investment being paid back at a specific time. The advantages of debt investment can include a steady stream of income and a higher claim on assets if a company goes bankrupt. But remember, there are also risks involved. For instance, the borrower could default on their payments or inflation could erode the value of the fixed interest you receive. We then compared equity and debt side by side. We found out that they can both play a valuable role in a well-rounded investment portfolio. The choice between them can depend on a variety of factors, such as your risk tolerance, investment goals and the economic environment. Equity might be more appealing if you're willing to take on more risk for the chance of greater returns and have a long-term investment horizon. On the other hand, debt could be a better choice if you prefer more stability, regular income and have a shorter investment time frame. Remember, in the world of finance and investing, understanding the difference between equity and debt can be a game changer. So keep learning, stay curious and happy investing.